I'm going to explore some of the latest 3D AI tools I've come across over the last one or two weeks, including this new tool, which enables you to do a live feed recording of yourself to drive the motion of a 3D character, and it includes finger tracking. All right, here we go. Okay, and the first tool I wanted to show off was 3D AI Studio, which is another tool for creating 3D models using AI. And I can go ahead and press Get Started, it's magic. And you're presented with your 3D space, and you can do image to 3D, text to 3D, you can texture AIs, you can do image AI to create an image, and there's some other different tools. And the access to these will vary depending on the paid tier that you're on. I couldn't see any free credits at the moment, so I've actually paid for one month usage just so I can try out the different tools over the coming days. I'm going to try out the image to 3D feature and you can actually upload your own files or you can generate them as well. So you can go to generate image and you can choose from different open source models and it includes the new Flux model which is rivaling the likes of Mid Journey and surpassing Stable Diffusion. So if you wanted to generate an image here you could do that. I've already got an image to hand so I'm going to add one here and I've got this kind of cute steampunk robot in a T-pose and I'm going to go ahead and press generate 3D model. And we have our 3D mesh, who looks very good. It's done a very good job of using the image to mesh. Um, and the textures and everything look top quality, really. And it's certainly a rival competing with the likes of Meshy AI, as well as CSM and some others in the space. And they have lots of other functionality here, including these other tools, which I will check out, I'm sure, over the coming weeks, with things like Mixamo rigging, remeshing, image upscaling, text-to-speech, all sorts of things going on. So if you haven't tried it out before, consider looking at 3D AI Studio, and I'll include a link in the video description below, which may or may not be an affiliate link, we'll see. Okay, and very quickly, I wanted to show off Stability AI's new Stable Fast 3D, which enables you to create 3D models using an image prompt as well. And whilst it's not yet at the same quality as some of the other 3D tools out there, it is more available for other people to use in their packages and potentially run it locally for free as well, depending on the licensing. And so I've got it running here on Hugging Face, and there's some preset images here so let's go for this cute raccoon press run and it's super quick within less than a second it's created a 3d model of this raccoon let's try the tree really cool and you could upload a hdr environment map to change the lighting on the image let's quickly try dropping in our robot press remove background and press run and again in 1.1 seconds we have a 3d mesh and it's quite dark here, but we can choose one of these HDR maps. And it's done a really good job of creating the mesh. And whilst it's not perfect, it's seriously quick. And I imagine that to be able to use this in game design, maybe apps where you want to generate 3D models, lots of 3D models really quickly. And as always, these tools are only going to get better and better. So this is SF3D from Stability AI. Okay, and then one last platform in the 3D AI model space, it's Meshi AI, who I have covered in multiple videos recently, but they've now improved their image to 3D model as well as their text to 3D model, which is one of the leaders in that space. But over here, you can see that previously I had generated a model, I, I had this image before, and it produced a model which had multiple flaws, but with their new model, we get a much cleaner mesh. And each time you generate, you get an organic and a hard surface version. And you'll see I did that robot here. And we ended up with this guy. This is the organic model. And this is the hard surface one. And I love the fact that it takes a little bit of creative license to make the mesh work really well. And it's nice and clean. And I think arguably the best in the space at the moment. And last week I covered the fact that you can now do quadruped rigging and animation. Uh, so if you produce a quadruped in Meshy AI... You can then apply a quadruped rig to it and it will automatically animate a walk cycle that you can take into your 3D software and play around with it, whether you use the walk cycle or just the fact you have a rigged mesh. And I will include a link to Meshy in the video description below. And then we have Radical from RadicalMotion.com, which as it says on their website, it's a place to design, play and collaborate in 3D. And you can build a 3D environment, drop in characters, cameras, lights, and you can bring the characters to life using motion capture taken from a video recording, and it now supports a live video feed, um, and the live video feed now supports finger tracking. So I'm gonna very quickly take you through that process, and I think it's a platform definitely worth checking out, and I can see lots of potential for it and different use cases in the future. So once you're logged into the Radical dashboard, and I've just got a free account here, you'll see we've got various tabs, including this new Go Live feature, but up here we have Canvas Design, so I'm just gonna click this, 
and I'm going to start with a blank canvas and you're presented with your canvas and to the left you have various options, things you can drop in, cameras, lights, 3D assets that you can drop in to build up your scene and you can press W, E and R to cycle through position, rotation and scaling and if you go over to the character tab here you can choose from some of their pre-made rigs and there's an upload option as well but you will notice on two of these rigs there's actually a little hand icon letting you know that they support finger tracking so I'm just going to use this upper torso one here click and drag them into my scene and then position them I'm then going to grab a camera and choose a wide angle drop that into the scene and we can check the positioning by changing from viewport to camera one and I can zoom out and position my camera change back to the viewport mode and I can make sure that cactus is going to be in the scene and you can rotate pan and zoom in and out using your left right and middle button and then I'm going to click the character this menu appears and I can press live motion up here I can press canvas 02 canvas is live press live motion again and choose go live and it says cameras needed and you can choose from a standard full body rig or the upper body and the upper body includes a finger tracking so that's one I wanted to try out today so I click here hello um, and then I'm going to press continue and it takes 20 to 30 seconds to get you connected. I'm just going to move my mic back a little bit. It's Saturday evening and I'm going to my friend's wedding tomorrow, so cheers. Okay, and once that's ready, you can then click Start Countdown. And it gives you a little animation telling you how to position your body. So I need to go up here. And I now have my rigs animated character who moves around. Very, very cool. And I can go up to here, click on Viewport choose that camera and we can still move in using our camera controls move around the scene and you will see that not only are my fingers tracking which is really really cool um, but it's animating the head rig as well I can blink take my glasses off to see if that improves that you can see my mouth moving and the hands are moving and yeah I'm getting some slight glitching but I think that's potentially because I'm recording on my Mac for the video at the same time as doing this live feed so um very very impressive and you could potentially record this take that animation to another package and they have got plugins for 3d packages to drive motion on your characters directly within your 3d software though i don't think finger tracking is supported there just yet but i'm sure it's in the works okay and that's been radical from radicalmotion.com i'm not being paid or sponsored to do this it's just something i saw online i thought that's really cool definitely one worth checking out and keeping an eye on to see what else they offer in the space soon Okay, and I just wanted to say that if I'm not recording this video at the same time, the results via that live motion capture and that finger tracking is much better. There's less of that glitching you saw in that little demo I did just now. Okay, and lastly, I just wanted to share a quick update for AIanimation.com, which is my own website where you can sign up for free as a creative and join a directory of other creatives, build up a video portfolio um, and potentially win work in the future. And the homepage has had a nice tidy up um, and you can head over and check out some new creative AI tools as an AI app directory where developers themselves can submit apps and I'm going to very slowly add some more apps to it because I haven't got around to that recently and down here there's a new featured video showcase area where some of the best videos I've seen uploaded by users on the site I'll add those to this place here just to give you some extra discoverability and help get some views to those videos and you know you may win some work from it potentially in the future including some videos of my own um, and then I've given a quick update on some of the AI developments I'm working on behind the scenes including plans for the AI website and an After Effects plugin I'm working on and finally there's a new pro directory so anyone that's producing the top tier work in the industry or if you're a studio you can actually register and it's not a free place this one is actually a paid directory and you will be featured across the website so you can go over here sign up for a monthly or an annual fee and feature on the number one AI animation website on Google, which is nice. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully some of these new 3D AI tools and advances are new to you and they help spark some creative ideas. Um, as always, please press like, subscribe and leave any comments. Let me know if you've seen any other cool AI tools, 3D, 2D, whatever they might be. And please head over to AIanimation.com to check out any updates there. I'm gonna go get some more red wine and then pack for my friend's wedding tomorrow. Have an awesome weekend. Um, cheers.